New visitors are starting to roll into cities like Ennis that are welcoming the eclipse crowds. Yeah, so the city south of Dallas will experience nearly four and a half minutes of totality on Monday. Fox Sports Blake Hansen live in Ennis with a look at the preparations. Blake. Yeah, Heather and Steve, people have already started rolling in from around the country, even other countries as well. The less than ideal weather outlook doesn't seem to be putting a damper on things, at least just yet. In Ennis, it is the calm before the sun. Came for the yeah. eclipse. Oh, yeah. The Welcome Center Friday was bustling, not only with those seeking the annual Blue Bonnet Trails, but out of town visitors hunting a not so annual view. After we went to the uh, the one in Oregon, uh, we go, man, we should do this again if it ever occurs in the United States. Dan and Ann Weaver traveled from California. They've already got a taste of just how special an eclipse can be. I don't even know if I can explain it, but it just kind of gives you some chills uh, where we were at in Oregon. You could see it coming across the valley. Crews are beginning the final stages of setup ahead of the expected crowds in Ennis. The city is forecast between 50,000 to 200,000 visitors. Its location means it will be one of the places that experiences totality the longest at four minutes and 23 seconds. I'm looking forward to it because I want to come and be a part of it. So I'm going to find me somewhere to watch the eclipse and be safe. The exact crowd size with weather potentially a damper is still hard to predict. We don't know what the weather's going to do. Uh, hopefully we'll get a break and we'll get to see something. We'll all see dark. <laughs> So, hey, we know we're there. For now, folks have beautiful weather to check out the blue bonnets and just a couple days to hope for the best. So we had the partial in Oregon a while back, but in Oregon on the coast were classic clouds constantly. So we <laughs> came down here and hopefully we'll have less clouds. You can see prep still underway tonight as they get ready for the big day. And we will have a crew here in Ennis as a part of our Eclipse coverage on Monday. Stephen Heather. All right. Blake, looking forward to it. Thanks.